Good news everyone, the DK2 is here and it's brilliant. Um, I spent the better part of yesterday's evening trying to get Elite Dangerous to run and then I spent uh, half the night playing it and it was fantastic. Um, there's a couple of things you have to keep in mind. Uh, since the Oculus Rift DK2 just came out, um, there are a couple of, uh, I don't know, small bugs that have to be ironed out. Um, I'm going to write down a description of what you have to do to get uh, the DK2 working in Elite Dangerous. It's not that hard and if you're computer literate you will figure it out in no time. But um, there are a couple of steps you have to do. Uh, like my screen was tilted and I just had to use uh, the uh, normal graphics options in Windows to turn it 90 degrees left. Uh, the screen had to be extended to the uh, Oculus Rift. That's an option you have to choose. Uh, I don't know the correct spelling or wording, but it says something like extend screen to HMD. Um, in Elite Dangerous, you have to set the Oculus Rift as extended display, uh, secondary display. Sorry, and I had to kill two tasks because the tracking wasn't working. Um, one was wscript.exe, and the other was OER service underscore x64.exe. I killed those two tasks and then the tracking worked perfectly. Um, th this should in no way diminish uh, the game or the DK2 because these are just um, minor bugs and they will be ironed out in no time. Um, the guys from Frontier as well as Oculus are very hard working and, and rolling out updates and, and bug fixes constantly so uh, no problem there. It's working now with those workarounds and I'm sure they will be implemented in no time. Um, as for the tracking, now the camera or the uh, Rift DK2 uses infrared LEDs that are hidden behind this uh, plastic. It actually shines through, but you just can't see it with your eyes. You have to use an IR camera that's, uh, that comes with the kit and it tracks your motion um, uh, like uh, closer to the, to the camera or further away, left, right, and up, down. That's the positional tracking part. Um, you can actually see it when I'm getting closer to the joystick, for example, in-game. Oh, where is it? There it is. And then I can actually get closer or further away and lean around it, even can look down under the seat. This helps with immersion tremendously. It makes a huge difference. Um, I'm used to the DK1 and I really like the DK1, but the DK2 blows it out of the water easily. There's a OLED display which means um, the, the pixels, when, when uh, the pixel is turned off it is black. With an LCD there's still some backlight so it's kind of grey, not much but a bit. In this case and especially with Elite Dangerous which, which takes place in space, black is black and the stars are really shining and bright and the contrast is um, very much improved as well as the color saturation which means when you take a look at the Milky Way it really pops out and it, it looks fantastic. The cockpit looks incredible as well, very detailed and, and really really cool. Um, what else? I'm just going to put it on and point out the other things while I'm in-game. Okay. Let's just recenter, now it's perfect. I've set up the controls just in like in game, so it's incredibly immersive. I have to take care of the wheel. I'm not using the wheel, but uh, it's still attached to the seat. And the first time I tried it, I managed to hit my head. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing I'm not the only one that's uh, where well, something like that happened. Um, the, the being able to lean in and read those screens closer or close up. Is fantastic. It helps a lot when you have in a bit of trouble. Man, they they are perfectly readable, but um, it's just a tad easier when you are able to lean in. And now it's spot on. This also helps with the starport services when you're in the commodities market, market for example, and you want to trade something. This was almost impossible with the DK1, and it's. It's awesome this way. Um, 
If it's a tad hard to read, you just lean in and it's perfect. Just perfect. Cool. I love that. This was the, one of the major gripes I had with the DK1 and this is... This problem is gone. Okay, I'm going to leave the station now. The 3D effect is still fantastic. Um, the, um, what's it called? Um, low persistence, where you move your head quickly and the screen updates very quickly. So there's no blurring or, uh, I don't know. Oops. I'm so sorry. Um, there's no blurring or something, it's just crisp and, and very, very nice. Just get out, out of the station without crashing, hopefully. Okay, and we are out. While the DK1 looked really cool, this actually knocks it out of the ballpark. Uh, any dangerous in combination with the Oculus Rift is at least for me and right now the, the best example for VR that I can give. It's incredibly immersive, it looks incredibly stunning. Um, I'm, I'm lost for words. <laughs> you guys did a fantastic job. The guys from Oculus and the guys from Frontier. This is mind blowing stuff. I love you. <laughs> I've been waiting for a game like that for so many years. I'm an old X-Wing and TIE Fighter gamer and I, there was no bigger wish to actually be inside the game and Elite and with in combination with the Rift manages to do that and it's like Christmas and birthday and I don't know everything combined to just sit there and play. So thanks guys, you did a fantastic job. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know uh, concerning the controls or, or the DK2. I didn't have time to try any other demos yet. Elite was my first and uh, it was the one game that I really had to try with the DK2, no matter what. And it's so polished. Um, if you're considering buying it, just do it. If you have a DK2, you have to buy it. There's no way around it. Uh, the, the guys from Oculus did a fantastic job. The guys from Frontier did an absolutely brilliant job at bringing this, this game to life. And those, uh, these both combined are a match made in heaven. Absolutely stunning. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to quit now and continue playing. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank you, guys. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know, and yeah, thanks, bye.